Now we'll take a quick look at how the U4s are organized. First we have two seasons, a fall and a spring. The kids are registered. They're put into teams of 10 to 12 kids per team. Now each team has a parent volunteer administrator. This is not a coach per se. The parent volunteer is in charge of things like picture day, snack rotation, who's going to bring drinks after the, uh, after the sessions, things of that nature. Uh, if there's a rain out or any kind of a cancellation, they serve as a point of contact for the group. Now, once a week, the kids will get together up on the field. And when this happens, two of these teams will come at the same time. So we're going to have 20 to 24 three-year-olds are going to be involved. Now, the club has a paid coach on site. This coach will act as the lead to determine the activities, set the pace, sets the agenda, and is uh, knowledgeable in what they're doing and what the club expects. Now, the field's going to be set up in an area for activities where we have like the dribble highway, the grids for uh, different little games. They have cones where they can dribble the ball up and shoot the ball and knock down the cones. All these different activities, some hoops where they can jump in and out. And then we have some small fields up over it at another end. Now these areas are very, very close. The kids are going to be in both areas. They're going to be intermingled, things of that nature. So what will happen is the kids come in, the paid coach gets everyone together, talks for just a minute, and then gets the kids engaged in an activity. That activity might run for four, five, six minutes, depending on how the kids are doing. At that point, the coach will probably get everyone in again, get them organized, get them regrouped, and then move to another activity. Now, in between these activities, when the kids start to have their meltdown, the paid coach will determine, okay, look, everybody, it's time for a water break. And that may happen three or four times in the course of an hour. At that point, all the kids go back to their parents, get their water, and go from there. Then they, then they come back in. Now, this is not a drop-off program. Parents need to be there for the entire time that the child is on the field. Another thing that is important to keep in mind is that for this paid coach, they can't do it alone. We need a high level of parental involvement. In fact, a lot, some of the things that are going to be done are the child and the parent working together. One of the ideas there is that you can learn some things that you can do with the child on your own at home. It's not rocket science. I mean, after all, they're three years, four years of age, and we can carry on from there. But parental involvement is a must. By the way, it's a good place to learn whether or not you're going to want to be a coach at the U5 age level. Now, with all of these areas, if a child gets tired of the game that they're in, and you see it or they let you know, and they want to leave and they want to go back over here to the dribble highway, that's where each kid sets their own limits and agendas. That's fine. Just take him out and let him go over there and do what it is that he needs to do or she needs to do for a period of time. Now this environment, we want the kids to explore and experiment within these different activities. So the activities are really divided up between moving the ball, some motor skills type activities, a few minor social activities, and the ball manipulation things. The objective for all this is simple. We hope, and we have seen, and we're confident that it will happen, that by spring of two seasons of this, that most of the children will get to recognize what a soccer field is. It's a toy. It's a big toy. And they recognize that a soccer field is the same thing like a set of, a set of swings or a slide or a playground. It's some place to go to. And they realize, hey, there's some goals. There's a field. I've got a ball, let me get a friend, I can go play. If we do that, then we've been successful and hopefully on the first step of making a lifelong fan of the game.